Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following float diagrams in details. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In a float diagram, we have the input and the output. The first set of numbers highlighted are my input values. So I have that as input. What I have in the middle represents the rules that are to be applied. So I have that as rules. In this case, I have plus 4, after which you multiply by 2. And the final set of numbers represents my output. So for each number, you follow the rule and then you get the corresponding output. So looking at the first example, I have the first input, that's 2, I'm to multiply, or I'm to add 4, after which I multiply 2. So following the rule, I have 2 plus 4, I have that as 6, and my answer, I multiply by 2, which will give me 12. So following that part, I have the rule and then the output for the first input will be 12. Going to the second input, I have the second input as 4. So I'm going to do the same thing. I have the input and the output for the input of 4. I have 4. The first rule is to add 4. I have 4 plus 4, that's 8. The next rule is to multiply by 2 which will give me 16. So I have the next output to be 16. Going to the third input, I have the input of 8. To find the output, I follow the same procedure. I have 8 plus 4, that's 12. The next rule is to multiply by 2. That will give me 24. So the next output for the third input is 24. For the next one, I have an input of 10. To find the output or the corresponding output, I have 10 plus 4, that's 14. The next rule is to multiply by 2, that's 28. In this case, we follow the rule as it comes in. We are now applying BODMAS or PEMDAS. And in the last input, I have 12. To find the corresponding output, I have that as 12 plus 4, that will give me 16. And the answer I have there, I multiply by 2, which is 32. So for the last input, the output will be 32. Let's look at the next example. In the second example, I start with the input value which is 2 I apply the rule that's to first of all multiply by 2 and then add 8 to get my output the first one has been done I'm going to do a double check to show you what was done there I have 2 times 2 which will give us 4 then adding 8 I have 4 plus 8 that's 12 which is shown going to the next input value I have 4 to find the corresponding output value, I have 4. The first rule is to multiply by 2. 4 times 2 will give us 8. The next rule is to add 8, and that will give us 16. So I have the next output to be 16. Going to the third input, I have that as 8. I have 8 times 2, that's 16. The next rule is to add 8. 16 plus 8 will give us 24. So I have the next output to be 24. The next input value, that's 10. To find the corresponding output, I have the first rule to multiply by 2. That will be 20 plus the next rule, plus 8. 20 plus 8, that's 28. So I have that as 28. 
and for the last input value I have that as 12 so find the corresponding output I have 12 times 2 12 times 2 is 24 plus 8 that will give us 32 so therefore the last output is 32 thanks for watching bye